The following is a presentation of the Missouri Sports Network. Hey, welcome back to Missouri Sports Network, MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage, presented by Central Bank of the Ozarks, Labor's Local 663, Doak Propane, the Bank of Billings, Shelters Insurance Agents Grant Baker in Aurora, Sean Holman in Lockwood. Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks, and as always, the Missouri State Highway Patrol reminds us to take that three seconds and buckle up. It's three seconds that could save your life. Be safe, be smart, and be here tomorrow. We're going to Wyoming and the newly named uh, Wyoming Cowgirls head coach, Heather Azell, the 2005 Miss Show Me Basketball from Kickapoo High School. And, and Coach Azell, uh, thanks so much for being part of the show today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Uh, always love to have a little piece of Springfield and southwest Missouri still in my heart. So glad to be on. And Coach, uh, you, you know, you've been there. At, 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 just kind of take us through. You left uh, Kickapoo. You went to uh, Iowa State, where you finished 10th in the top 10 all-time in scoring, 1,339 points. And then your career from there, you've kind of been an assistant coach. You spent some time at, at SEMO. And tell us how you ended up at, at Wyoming and, and how excited you are now to get the head job. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously super excited about this opportunity that I've had. But leading up, um, I I came to Laramie about seven years ago um, from SEMO. Came out here, um, worked under Joe Ligurski, um, which was the former head coach. Um, and then three years ago, he retired. Uh, the associate head coach, Gerald Mattinson, who um, had been under Joe Ligurski for 17 years, took over the job and uh, been working for him for the past three years. And then once again, he has chose to, to retire and, and go that route and has been just uh, fortunate for me to put in my time here and have the opportunity to take over the program, which uh, – Super excited about it. It's been a dream of mine ever since, you know, we, we go back. Uh, I even talk about my Kickapoo days uh, of playing for Stephanie Phillips and always having that goal of being uh, a coach and being a head coach at some point in my time and just have the really happy about the opportunity to, to do it here. And, and the colors are not that unsimilar. <laughs> exactly. Every I, I joke with a lot of people where, you know, brown and gold is a very unique combination, but for me, it, it runs deep. So being that uh, being at Kickapoo and having these colors, I, I wore them with pride. So it's pretty easy to make that transition for me uh, here at Wyoming. Well, and, and another thing with you stepping into that that position, uh, you mentioned Coach Mattinson had had been there 19 years, and between Gerald and Joe, and now to you, there's a lot of stability that you probably your uh, your recruits and the people that are already in your program have got to be a, a fan of. Yeah, that's something we talk about um, uh, quite a bit is being able to just continue the legacy. And, and I think that comfortability uh, with our recruits, with our current team of understanding, uh, hey, it's just kind of uh, going to be just a different person in charge, but we're doing the same thing. And that's huge for, for to keep our team. Obviously, everybody knows about the transfer portal and all of that. It makes our transition really easy because everybody knows what to expect. And talk just a little bit about this season. I believe seventeen and thirteen this season. But I looked at your last three games. You played seven overtimes. That, we did. We, we joke. Yeah, we joked. Actually, it was four of our last five games of the year. Um, our last regular season game was an overtime game. Um, lost in our conference tournament in, in regulation, and then the three games in the WNIT all going into uh, to overtime and multiple overtimes uh, a couple times there. Um, but just really proud of our team. Um, obviously. Coming off the year that we had previously, we're in 2021, we won the, the Mountain West Tournament um, four games in four days, had the chance to play in the NCAA Tournament, returned uh, a lot of kids, and uh, we battled, and we we had a good year. Of course, COVID hit us again, uh, unfortunately, knock on wood. I, I sure hope that we're over that, but uh, we we came strong at the end of the year, um, got into the WNIT um Luxury for us, we got to play at home in front of our fans. We have great fan support here at Laramie, Wyoming. And uh, you're right, our first game, we we played Idaho State, won in overtime. Second game, Tulsa came here. We won in triple overtime. And then we had um, an amazing atmosphere. We brought UCLA onto campus and had chances to win. And once again, three overtimes, lost by one. Uh, heartbreaker for our kids. 
but uh, we competed with a Pac-12 school, which is what we we asked and what we wanted from our kids, and they they did it for every minute, um, and that's 40 plus with the three overtimes. So it was a a great atmosphere, a great game, and you know, of course, everybody's sad to see our season end, but I think we've got a lot for the future, looking on and and building forward. Obviously, you played for you know here locally for a Hall of Famer and Stephanie Phillips. You go to Iowa State, then the background you have uh, with with assistant coaches. Can you point back to maybe some of you know some of those coaches that have really influenced uh, your style of coaching? Yeah, I mean, I have to start with with Stephanie Phillips. Um, obviously, her coming from the college game when she took over at Kickapoo, and she just had that mindset that you're going, okay, this is what college is about. Um, this is what I'm going to be making those next steps. And she set that stage for me, especially through my four years of, of high school. Um, and then going on to Iowa State, obviously – Coach Bill Finley, uh, he's a legendary coach. He's a future Hall of Famer, um, been there forever. You know, he's going to continue to be successful. But him and the associate head coach, Jody Steyer, who was the guard coach there, those two have really put a lot of um, of the things that you see in my coaching game, I'd say, um, huge just because I've been to play under them. And then I've kind of worked uh, in a couple different positions, but Joe Frager out at Fairfield University was the first coach that I worked for. He actually is just now retiring as well. Um, had a great program out there, learned a lot from him. Um, and then at SEMO, Ty Margenthaler was a, a huge person that I got to learn a lot with. He was a first-time head coach at the time, so I really feel like I gained a, a handful of knowledge listening to him and seeing him in that role now that I get to be in as well. And then, of course, the two to the two legends, the two goats here in Wyoming and Joe Ligurski and Gerald Mattinson have been huge. Um, I just tried to be a sponge in my seven years and soak up everything from those two because they've been in this game for a very long time. You know, we reached out. I reached out to you just uh, three or four days ago about I had no idea. This was a kind of a where are they now? We try and track down, yep. uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen that have been through this area that people kind of wondered about, hey, what's going on? Where are they at? And at that time, you were listed as the associate head coach. Yep. So I'd reached out to, you know, some folks here at Missouri Sports Network. Hey, I said, you know, I, I, t- I talked to Heather Zell. She's coming on on uh, on Tuesday at, at, at 11. And they go, where, where is she now? I said, well, she's assistant coach at at, uh, at Wyoming. They looked it up and they said, no, she's the head coach. And I said, what? <laughs> it had to have been within a half an hour after I emailed you that that news broke. Uh, yep. Did you know it at the time that we were talking that you were going to be named the new head coach? I did. I had gotten a, at least a couple days warning um, uh, leading up to everything going down. Um, but obviously it wasn't my news to break uh, to start. So just kind of had to roll with it. But obviously been just uh, a whirlwind of event. I mean, it ha- everything happened very quickly um, for us. And it's just been kind of crazy. I'm still trying to take it all in and, and figure it out and get all my ducks in a row to, to get in the, get going in this position. Well, I promise I had no idea. (laughs) Nobody leaked it. I just got lucky that it happened right there within that 15 minute span. But uh, who's the first person you called? Who'd you reach out to first when you when you found out that you were going to be the head coach? Well, of course, the first person I called when I when I knew it happened was was my mom and dad. Um, I knew those two were, you know, my backbone and, and my everything. So they were the first phone call I made for that. Um, and then it was a, a couple of other coaching buddies, but you know, uh, it just, it, it's crazy. Yeah. It, it's crazy how many people have reached out, um, people that, you know, I might not have talked to in a few, few years, but, um, I just appreciate all the support from everybody that, that I've gotten. And, um, like I said, just super excited to get going. As you look at the, at the roster, you've got returning, talk a little bit about what you've got returning and then have you. Uh, maybe added to your staff, or are there plans there to add to your staff? Yep. Um, well, for starters, we have three seniors that have an a, additional year for the COVID. Um, they are waiting to kind of make that decision. Uh, I All signs lead to, I, I'm hoping they're coming back, and it looks like that will be the case. But once again, that's their their story to make and their their decision to make. So that should be coming out in the next couple of weeks for those, those couple kids. Um, return a really good group. Um, have the chance to return all five starters, you know, which would be awesome. We are, we're bringing in a couple new kids, just uh, uh, freshman kids that we had already signed that are still coming and, and good that way. And we'll have maybe one scholarship that we might look um, to bring in an extra kid if that's through the, the transfer portal or through high school or something. 
um, but have a really good roster coming back that we're super excited about. And then, yeah, we'll uh, hire another assistant position, um, looking at getting that ball rolling pretty sooner than later here of, of adding that and just getting that going and getting that staff in, in, in together so we can start working and, and bonding and, and creating that relationships that we want to, to move forward. Again, visiting with newly named uh, Wyoming Cowgirls head coach Heather Rizell from from Kickapoo High School, 2005, Miss Show Me Basketball. And, and Coach, do you get an opportunity to, to get back into the area very much? I do. I still try and get back when I can. Um, family's still all there. Um, obviously, with who's at Kickapoo, with Coach Pendergrass and um, the assistant coach, Leslie Hanshi. Uh, I played with Leslie. Uh, coach P co- uh, coached me, so I still stay in time packed with them quite a bit. And when I'm in town, those are some of the first people I call. So it, it's nice to to still have that connection. You know, obviously they had a great run this year too, and proud of what what Coach P and Coach Leslie have done there. Um, but I usually try to get back to the Springfield area a couple times a year um, when it when it works out, and always good to see family and old friends back there. And coincidentally, the uh, the 2022 Miss Show Me Basketball is uh, Bella Fontleroy from from Kickapoo High School, and it's you know if 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 the 2022 uh, Heather Zell could go back to that 2001 2002 your freshman year and how what what advice would you give yourself uh, based on what you know now? Man, there there's a lot, I, I, especially when you're you know 14 15 years old back back then. Uh, but I think being able to just keep trying to soak in everything that every person that you meet along the way, um, if that's a player, if that's a coach, um, just trying to learn everything you can and understand. And obviously, you know, I went through it in high school, but there's going to be setbacks. You know, I tore my ACL in high school. There's going to be setbacks at some point in your career, whether that be an injury, whether that be something else um, that you're going to go through. But don't get your head down. Um, keep working. Keep fighting. And good things happen to people that put the work into it. And uh, if I could have gone back and counted all the hours, and I know even Coach Phillips got mad at me a couple times for going to the rack and playing when I probably shouldn't have been. But I, I don't know if I'd change any of that because it's gotten to me to where I am now. Very good. Well, Coach, uh, Coach Uzel, I, I certainly appreciate you being generous You know, with your time here today. I know you've been reached out to by – uh, especially all the media there in, in the state of Wyoming, and for you to take the time here at here at the Missouri Sports Network, I, I greatly appreciate it. Absolutely. I appreciate you having me. Like I said, there's still a piece of my heart in southwest Missouri, so anytime that I can uh, connect back with them, uh, I'd love it. You bet. Well, Coach, uh, we will we'll reach out again, I'm sure, and, and have an opportunity, and best of luck here as you've moved now one chair down. So the the pressure the pressure is on, and you're just at the beginning of it. Uh, but I'm sure that I'm quite sure uh, that you will be able to to do an outstanding job there for for the cowgirls. And again, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you again for having me. Really appreciate it. Heather Zell, newly named Wyoming Cow- Cowgirls head coach from Kickapoo High School on the Missouri Sports Network. Where are they now? Be right back.